For more than a century, the limits of the car have been the same, distance, time, and cost. Now Tesla says those limits are about to disappear. The company's newest creation, the 2026 Model 2, promises a range of 1,759 miles on a single charge, a full recharge in about five minutes, and a $5,678 retrofit that could give existing Teslas the same power. It's called the aluminum ion battery, a technology once dismissed as impossible. Now ready for production, Elon Musk calls it a gigantic revolution in energy. But for many drivers, it's something simpler. Freedom. Fewer stops, lower bills, and a car that could outlast its own design cycle. The question is, if Tesla really delivers on this promise, does this become the moment the electric car finally surpasses the gasoline engine, not just in performance, but in permanence? Wait, how are they doing that? Come to part one to see how Tesla converts energy and on which production line they do it. Don't forget to support the Auto Gear Shift channel with one subscription. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new information and share it with your Tesla loving friends. Stay until the end of the video because I'm sure the information at minute nine or 11 will surprise you. One, how Tesla plans to redefine the EV battery game. Aluminum ion batteries are not new scientists have been experimenting with them for years, drawn by aluminum's abundance, low cost, and superior safety profile compared to lithium. But for most of that time, the dream ran into three walls, stability, energy density, and integration. The chemistry struggled to hold charge efficiently, degraded quickly, and couldn't easily fit into the existing electric vehicle architecture. Tesla's approach changes that equation, or at least, that's the claim. Instead of developing a far future concept car, Musk's engineering team reportedly designed a cross-platform battery system that could slide into existing Tesla architectures. They call it CPMI, the Cross-Platform Module Interface. Think of it like a universal heart transplant. Rather than redesign the entire car, Tesla can replace the battery organ with minimal re-engineering. This philosophy aligns with what Tesla has quietly been building toward since 2021, modularity. In Fremont, Austin, and Shanghai, production lines have been standardized down to the millimeter, from cooling plates to chassis, mounting points. The message is clear. Tesla doesn't just want to build new cars. It wants to upgrade old ones from the inside out. The rumored aluminum ion module measures about 70 inches long, 55 inches wide, and weighs roughly 1,250 pounds. That's not an arbitrary figure. It matches the form factor of Tesla's current skateboard-style battery packs. If accurate, this would mean Tesla could potentially retrofit aluminum ion packs into cars produced since 2021 without changing the core vehicle structure. And that's revolutionary, not just technically, but economically. You don't need a new car, you just need a new heart. Seeing this far, you are probably skeptical about the information we're sharing. The truth is, Tesla has not publicly confirmed any aluminum ion mass production line, nor has it presented the chemistry at any official event. Still, whispers from the supply chain and R&D circles suggest that Tesla has been experimenting with aluminum-based prototypes at a pilot scale. The company's investment in modular design adds credibility to the concept. Meanwhile, the global aluminum ion battery market, though still in its infancy, is projected to expand rapidly. According to Future Market Insights, the market was valued at approximately $5.6 billion in 2025, with growth expected to reach $9.5 billion by 2035, a modest compound annual growth rate of 5.5%. However, Market Research Future paints a far more aggressive picture. The market could climb from $2.0 billion in 2024 to $25.2 billion by 2035 
reflecting a compound annual growth rate of 25.9%. These differing forecasts reveal a fundamental truth. No one really knows how quickly aluminum ion technology will mature. What is clear, however, is that the demand for next generation batteries is real, driven by soaring EV sales, tightening resource supply chains, and the quest for safer, more affordable alternatives to lithium ion. But how exactly does Tesla plan to make this seamless battery upgrade a reality for millions of drivers? And, more importantly, what does this mean for the future of your current Tesla? Stay tuned as we dive into part two. The Retrofit Revolution, Upgrade Instead of Replace, where we explore how this groundbreaking technology could change the way you experience your Tesla without needing a brand new car. Two, the Retrofit Revolution, Upgrade Instead of Replace. If Tesla's vision comes to life, it could reshape the auto industry. For decades, automakers have thrived on planned obsolescence. Forcing consumers to buy new models for new technology, Tesla is turning that logic upside down. With this new battery, a 2022 Model 3 could soon outperform a competitor's brand new EV. That's because this new battery isn't just a component, it's a software-defined energy system. Aluminum ion cells operate at an average 20 volts per cell, compared to around 3.8 volts for lithium ion. That high voltage would traditionally fry an EV's electronics in seconds. Tesla solved this with a multi-chemistry management system that automatically adjusts inverter behavior and power distribution in real time. This digital system reads voltage and temperature data from each module and rewrites the inverter commands, all via software updates over the air. In other words, your car could learn to speak a new chemical language overnight. Tesla's engineers have gone even further with cooling technology. Using microchannels of coolant to prevent heat buildup, excess heat is routed to a metal plate acting as a heat sink, all sealed in a CPMI sled requiring no modifications to the vehicle's existing cooling system. And here comes the game changer, Tesla's claimed retrofit package, a 60 kilowatt hour aluminum ion module delivering over 1,000 miles of real world range is priced at about $5,678 installed. That's less than a flagship smartphone. For that price, a Model Y owner can triple their range and have charging time, all without new taxes, registration fees, or insurance resets. For traditional automakers, this seems suicidal. But for Tesla, it's a different strategy, one that's already paying off. Musk isn't trying to sell more cars. Instead, he's building a living ecosystem where profits no longer come solely from hardware but from services, upgrades, AI features, and energy integration. Every retrofit helps extend the customer relationship without producing a single new chassis. Now let's have a short discussion. If you believe that aluminum batteries will appear with Tesla Model 2, to leave a Y in the comment section. If you have a different opinion, leave a N and share your reasons. Now continue to follow the last part of today's episode to answer the question, how could your Tesla not just power your drive, but also help power the grid? 3. The Energy Shift Powering the grid, not straining it A 1,579-mile battery that recharges in just 5 minutes sounds almost too good to be true. The obvious concern is, can the US grid handle that load? Tesla's answer is energy intelligence. Each generation 54 supercharger will be paired with a Megapack, a massive stationary battery with up to 3.9 megawatt hours of capacity. These units store electricity at night during off-peak hours and release it during the day, turning every charging station into a mini power plant. When a Tesla driver plugs in for a five-minute ultracharge, they're not drawing live energy from the national grid. They're tapping stored energy generated earlier helping stabilize the grid rather than strain it. Tesla's Texas Gigafactory alone can produce over 10,000 megapacks per year, enough to power thousands of next-generation stations across North America. 
at home, about 80% of EV charging still happens overnight, between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., when grid demand and energy costs are at their lowest. Even with aluminum ion's extreme fast charging potential, this pattern remains efficient. The new battery simply adds flexibility. Turbo mode on demand. But Tesla's ambitions don't stop there. With such high energy density, aluminum ion Teslas could serve as mobile batteries, returning energy to the grid when needed, a concept known as vehicle-to-grid early pilot programs in U.S. neighborhoods are already showing promising results. In that future, your Tesla doesn't just consume power, it stabilizes it. Your car becomes part of the national energy infrastructure, helping to balance grid supply and demand. Tesla's aluminum ion strategy isn't just a product release, it's a redefinition of what an automobile can be a machine that upgrades itself, a battery that outlasts the car around it, a network that powers both the driver and the grid. If Musk can bring this vision to mass production, the world won't just see a new Model 2. It will witness the birth of a new category of vehicle, modular, upgradable, and sustainable. And in that new game, the board is made of aluminum. We'd love to hear your thoughts on today's episode, please leave your honest comments below. The Auto Gear Shift team truly values your feedback, and it helps us serve you better. If you found the episode interesting, please give us a like, subscribe, share, and a heart to support the team. Don't forget to submit your questions, as they may inspire future topics on the channel. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode.